All right, um, before I get started today, I just wanted to warn you all that I'm going to be talking about politics for a little bit. It's going to be geeky, but I'm still going to be talking about our government. So if you're not into that kind of shit, just skip this video entirely. But if you want to hear something incredibly stupid, then uh, keep watching. Um, so today I wanted to talk about Pacific Rim, the government shutdown, and who we should be blaming. And I'll try to... It, it, it all kind of relates to each other in, in my head, which is probably not how they should be related. But anyway, all right. So um, Pacific Rim is probably my favorite movie of the ever. Uh, and by now you probably have figured that out. If you've seen my Tumblr, if you've seen my Twitter, if you've seen me in person, I, I fucking love this movie. Um, and it, it's out on iTunes and I've watched it a whole bunch of times, and we just went to the cinema and draft house down in Arlington to see it on the big screen. And um, the, the more and more I watch it, um, there's this one part that just makes less and less sense to me. It just so I buy pretty much everything in the movie. You know, DARPA drift technology where you meld with somebody. You know, I buy that giant kaiju stomping around from. Um, some alien world in the Pacific. I, I fucking buy that. You know, robots punching. Of course I buy that. Sword. How can you not buy sword? Sword is awesome. The one thing that always makes me laugh is the concept of the wall of life. Like, the governments of the world decide, oh, robots punching isn't working anymore. Let's build a fucking wall. Like, that makes any fucking sense. Like, you, you don't have empirical evidence in your everyday lives that these kaiju punch through steel and concrete like it's paper mache you know it, it it makes no fucking sense like i every time that scene comes up i laugh my ass off because i can't conceive of a world in which our elected leaders world leaders would decide together as a group that to stop the invading kaiju menace we're gonna build a giant fucking concrete wall to stop them like what's the rest of the plan like say the wall works okay what what do you do after you build the wall because you've built a structure and you've got a whole bunch of kaiju around and they're just banging on the wall what what's step two like do you chuck spears into their eyes or something or try to drop bombs like conventional weapons we know don't work on these fucking things. Like, you'd have to kamikaze all the planes. Like, all of the planes to kill a kaiju. Where, whereas, you know, if you had a Jaeger, you punch it to death. Like, you just, robots punching, you know? Of course, the obvious solution for everybody is to make better Jaegers. Is to make them punch harder. Make them bigger. Make them faster, you know? But instead, they decide to scrap the program. And, and this has always made me laugh because I, I, I can't conceive of a world where our leaders would make a really stupid decision when it comes to our safety and then you know the government shutdown happened <laughs> and then i was like oh well i guess it is realistic i guess when push comes to shove we do have leaders who are stupid who don't give a fuck about us and who will make really 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 poor decisions because it benefits them personally and and here's so if if you're not from the DC area. If you don't live around here, you might not have been aware that the government did shut down. And if, if you never turned on the television, like I had relatives in California that didn't realize that the government was shutting down. But if you live in the DC area, pretty much your local news is politics. It's all about politics. Like we're, we're right down the street from the Capitol. And um, the weeks leading up to the shutdown, you know, if you asked anybody, um, any of the pundits or any of the local reporters, they were, they were all saying like, well, yeah, it's a it's a thing that might happen, but I don't think they're going to be dumb enough to, to do it. I don't think, you know, this is bad for everybody. I don't think I don't think anyone is going to do it. You know, you ask people who've been working in the government for a long time. Uh, some of my former bosses, they were like, it's 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 close, but I don't think they're dumb enough. I don't think they're fucking stupid enough to let this happen. I don't think they're going to let it happen. And and push came to shove and it fucking happened. It fucking happened. So. Um, you can guarantee that our leaders don't give a shit about us because, you know, it, it, it doesn't affect them. Like they're, they're still going to get paid. They're bajillionaires. They, they, even, even if it, even if it threatened their job, even if Congress shut down during the shutdown and they didn't get a paycheck, they're still fine. Like 
they're all very wealthy people. None of these people that we've elected to represent us actually represent us. You know, they, they don't have any problems. They have maids, they have house services, you know, they've got, they got stacks and stacks and stacks of cash. It, you know, our government is run by the elites because these are the fuckers that we elect. Um, so <laughs> that part of Pacific Rim is, is no longer a conflict with me because we've seen it in real life. We've seen that, you know, our, 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 the people that we have elected are incapable of making decisions that make sense for the rest of us. It, it just, they, they can't conceive of a world where working together is something that is good and, and they're willing to drive us off a cliff because of it. And um, so when, 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 when they say, oh, we think that the wall of life can stop these monsters who punch through concrete always, can stop us, now it rings true, and I'm sad to say that it rings true because, you know, I wish I didn't have evidence right down the street that these fucking people that we've elected would let this happen. Um, and now, now you, can, you can point fingers, you can do a lot of pointing fingers, you know, you can blame the Tea Party, you can blame the conservatives, you can blame Boehner, and these are all good people to blame. Um, but unfortunately, the real blame is all of us, all of the electorate, all the people who have elected these motherfuckers into power. Because the the real problem here is we, we don't elect the the brightest of us. We don't elect the smartest of us. We don't elect people who who have a habit of working with other people that they disagree with. We elect people who say shit that we want to hear. Like, um, you know, I, I'm, a, I'm a terrible example of this. Like, I, I voted for Obama. I mean, there are many reasons I voted, voted for Obama. One, I wanted to see a minority president. president. But two, I'm, a, I'm pretty liberal. And a lot of the shit that he was saying up to his campaign was stuff that resonated with me. But I, I didn't look at his ability to, to govern. I didn't look at his ability to work with people he disagreed with. I just, you know, he's saying shit that I like to hear. And so I was like, yeah, yeah, I'll vote for him. It sounds good. And most of us do that. We don't really take the time to look at these people and say, all right, well, he's saying some good shit, but what is his history on, you know, working with people from other parties or, you know, caring about, um, you know, really getting in and, and talking with his community or is this person or her, or, you know, her community, or is this person really just the mouthpiece that spouts off, um, you know, bullet points from their party. And uh, we're, we've, we've, we've gotten into this weird cycle is like, we, we, we've, we elect people who say shit that we like to hear. And the only way that they can get in front of us to say shit that we like to hear is if they have enough money to get on TV and run ads and shit. And so the only people who can actually run for office are bajillionaires because they can afford to chuck money at this stuff and hire stuff and get all this stuff done. So it's this endless cycle of, of, of terribleness. Um, so on the one hand, I would like to put all of the blame on the shoulders of Congress because these motherfuckers continually make decisions that fucking blow my mind, fucking blow my mind. It makes no fucking sense. Um, but the sad truth is it's, it's our fault. <laughs> it's our fault for getting ourselves into this position because we reward the people who yell the loudest. We reward the sensationalism. We, we reward people who say shit that we want to hear. And when you're governing and when you're working to better a society, sometimes you have to do things and say things that people don't want to hear, you know? And we don't elect people like that. We elect people who say the shit that we want to say. And the louder they say that, the more we elect them. It's great. Except it's actually kind of terrible. Um, so I don't know where I'm going with this. All I know is that if, uh, you know, the, the, the robot apocalypse comes or kaiju actually do rise out of the oceans to destroy us all, you can guarantee that our elected officials will do some stupid shit that threatens the rest of us. But it's fine for them because, you know, they'll have their super secret um, government shelter that is, is better than any shelter that we have. And then we'll all just die. It's great. It's great. Um, so I guess my point is, uh, if we want things to change, if we want people who will defend us, 
when these coming cataclysms uh, occur, we need to, to think a little bit more when it comes time for elections. Like, you know, the midterms are coming up next next year in 2014. And if we want a government that better represents us, that represents, you know, that, that actually cares about us as people and not us as money, uh, we'll have to make some hard decisions. We'll actually have to take some time. And, you know, maybe it's time to get rid of the two party system because clearly it's not working. It's not working. So, um, yeah, I guess that's my point. <laughs> Hopefully, uh, 2014 will be a wake-up call. Hopefully, um, we'll take more time to, to look at the people who are running and, and make some educated decisions and not just vote for the motherfucker who says the same shit that you want to hear the loudest, you know? Um, but I don't know. All right, well, with that depressing note, uh, I think you should go see Pacific Rim because... It's a fun movie, and it'll make you forget that our government shut down for a while because people are stupid, and we elected them, and we put them there. So, All right. Sorry to be such a downer. Uh, I'll have something fun next week. All right. Bye. <laughs>